First, let's go to the Kaggle .tml file to add the tracing WebAssembly and the Deoxys logger. These two dependencies to our project. We use these two to log information on the web browser's console. Let's go back to the main.rs file. Let's just uh, remove this. And uh, let's just uh, simply to render one hello component. And let's remove this props, also this. Even function, let's call tracing web assembly set global default. Let's go to the hello component. Here, let's remove this h1 element. Let's create a button. So we will create a button element. In this button, let's add an uh, onclick event. So onclick. In this onclick, we will create a closure. And we will add a move keyword to move the ownership to this closure. This closure can capture the event. So let's give it a name E. But we will not use this event this time. So let's add an underscore in front of it. Let's add a closure body. In this closure body, let's call tracing from Deoxys logger info Michael. Then let's pass a message like a hello word. Let's add a content to this button. Let's render a content like a um, click. Let's also remove this person structure. Let's go to the web browser. You can see there is a button click. Let's click the right button of your mouse and uh, choose this inspector. And here, let's choose this console. And uh, let's click this click button. Here, you can see it will show the info, hello world. This is how we add a on-click event and uh, log the information in the web browser's console. Hope to see you next time.